this is I'm going to try to um, fix the sleep wake problem okay it doesn't wake it just give me a black screen so I think it has something to do with the graphic so I don't think window has the right uh, driver for HD 4400 so what we need to do is to go device manager and let's go to play adapter let's see if we can find a new one Ah, it's downloading the driver's software. Hopefully this one's from Intel. So at the same time, we should go, oh, installer. Okay, so while it's um, updating the driver's software from Windows automatically, we also try to see if we can get the, uh, we go to download center, intel.com. Oh, it's updating. So I'll go here. Okay, so Windows has finished installing driver software for this device. All right, hopefully it's a new one. I forgot to check which version it was the old one. Let's see. 629 from Intel. Maybe this is a good one. Okay. 629.15 driver version. Alright. Let's see if it's going to fix the sleep problem on this one. But anyhow, I'm going to try to see if I can update the driver. Laptop. And I'm looking for fourth generation HD 4400. Fine. Oh, they have the 919 right here. The latest. So, Windows 10. Let's download this one. Accept. Except anything right now. Okay. Also get the zip one too. Just in case. Okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, so this is Windows 10 on HP HD forty four hundred. X360. Now, after we updated the um, graphic driver from Intel, we're going to put this to sleep. Alright, it's sleeping. Now, before the key didn't work to wake up, so let's see if it works now. Hmm, the key still doesn't work. So let's see if we push the button. Alright, so it works now. Let's close the lid to see if it's going to go to sleep. So let's open it and see if it wakes up. Okay, so updated the graphic uh, driver from Intel. 
has definitely fixed the problem of sleep and wake on window 10. <laughs>